Well, my interest in astronomy actually started almost before I can remember. My grandfather used to take me out and show me the sky when I was, well, I think three or four years old. And then when I was quite young, there was a total eclipse of the sun in Cleveland, Ohio. So my interest in the sky was quite early. Computers were interesting because from the time I first built a telescope and had it working, it occurred to me that it should be possible with a computer to make a telescope point and uh, track and generally do things. Um, and then of course in the 80s when CCD technology became accessible, it became very obvious that uh, the mixture of computers and astronomy and telescopes was going to change forever in, in an important way. I think the practical reality is modern science, which relies very strongly on the development of models, which then have predictive power and the ability to explain things. That kind of style of doing modern science is for all practical purposes not not easy to do without computing. The large telescopes that interest me particularly are the survey telescopes, which cover a large area of the sky. Um, these telescopes today typically have one gigapixel detectors. So the detectors are this kind of size. And in the LSST, the 8.4 meter telescope, the detector array is three gigapixels. So it is on the order of this size. And the, the amount of data that can be generated in just a few seconds is huge. This gives us the opportunity to look at the universe in new ways. The GTC here or the large European telescope, or the 20, 30 meter telescope that's being proposed. Those telescopes go deep. They don't have a big field, but they can look at very faint things. R robotic telescopes are interesting educationally because I believe young people, when they first become aware of science, often are very interested in two things, dinosaurs, and the stars and planets. And obviously we can't do much about dinosaurs except uh, maybe Jurassic Park. But uh, it's very possible for, with robotic telescopes, for young people to have uh, real exposure to the things in the sky you cannot see, uh, particularly in cities where there are bright lights, often children have never really seen the sky, so it opens up their ability to see the sky on a dark place in the world. The most important thing that comes out of kids using telescopes is they get to take measurements, they get to take data, it gives them an opportunity to think about the process of doing science and taking a measurement and learning about errors and uh, I hope it uses the interest in astronomy and the curiosity to cause children to have less fear of technology and to therefore want to learn more about technology. Uh, a classical science education, which is typically mathematics, physics, biology, chemistry, perhaps some astronomy, uh, can prepare someone to then become a scientist in those fields but what it typically does is it prepares someone to think and to think deeply and to question the world and then go out and understand and learn and invent new things. Okay, would I like to be the next space tourist? Um, curiously, probably not. Uh, uh, at my age, it's probably a little impractical uh, and I have a lot to do building my observatory, so. I'm pretty busy, but if I was to go to space, uh, I would want to go out to the L3 Lagrange point be beyond the moon where the J James Webb telescope is going. I'm a person who likes to be alone 
sometimes to go to the mountains and be alone and relax. And I think the L3 point would be an excellent place to relax.